Well, hello everyone, my name is Prime and welcome back to another episode of ATS Showcases. And today I'm going to be checking out the Volvo VNL rework mod, which is of course available on the Steam Workshop. And this thing is a beauty. Now you may be asking Prime, why in the world are you saying that? This is just the SCS software version of the Volvo VNL. It looks exactly like it because it is. There is no separate, I guess you could say, truck that you have to purchase other than just the Volvo VNL that is stock in game. What this mod does do is bring in a bunch of new sounds especially with the engine mods itself which i'll get to in a second and of course lots of exterior options and i mean lots so let's go over to the well i guess we might as well go right to the engine because chassis and uh same with the cabin is all stock same normal engine is where you get to the special stuff all the extra mods here uh these are these come right with the truck as far as i am aware i don't have anything else running that would uh, contradict with that and uh, today we're using the 500 horsepower uh, yes, down here, the EcoTorque Performance D13, 500 horsepower. So it's a pretty good one. And same with transmissions. As far as I am aware, it comes with its own uh, transmissions. Yes, it does right down in here, which we are using just the standard one it gave us today. Interior actually is just the stock kind of... Uh, Volvo VNL, as far as I am aware, from my me if my memory serves me correct, it is just all the same inside. Uh, and in, of course, paints. I think there are actually some of the specialty ones there. And today we are using the FedEx ground skin, uh, which is of course linked down below, along with this mod, like always. And then we're gonna go to accessories, and this is where the mother load comes in here. Basically, every dot you can click on, oh, that was a wrong one to choose there. Other than that one, anything that has VNL uh, as kind of the picture is this mod. And there is a absolute boatload on just about everything uh, on, on this truck you can change, which is very, very nice. And ton of customization looks really, really nice. I'm choosing a lot of the ones that don't actually have anything. There you go. Uh, but yeah, it's just, there is a ton of customization on this truck. And when we go to the interior, from what my eyes can tell, not too much different uh, from the stock Volvo VNLs in ATS. Uh, but I mean, the exterior just really, really brings this mod home. Plus the sounds are pretty good as well. So just to clarify, the mod links will be down in the description below. You can check those out. They're just from the Steam Workshop, so they're all safe and everything will be good there. So today we are taking some FedEx ground goods uh, from here in Reading uh, all the way up to Bend, Oregon. So it's actually going to be a pretty good journey. We should get on the way because we've got a lot to talk about. And yeah, there's been a lot of changes since I've been away uh, for a little bit here from ATS and to be honest, basically any other episode. But let's get this thing started up before I start yabbering away for the rest of this episode. Sounds pretty good to me, just saying. So let's go ahead and roll out of here. Yes, I am actually back in California. Well, at least the northern section of California. I decided, you know what? I got to do a little bit more here in the northern section considering, well, we're hoping that in 1.44, uh, we'll have at least another stage of the California rework. So we'll just wait for that cop so we can swing out of here. Uh, and hopefully everyone is doing well. I certainly am. Man alive, has it been a hot moment since I've been, since I've been doing a little bit more of a regular episode here on the channel. Uh, trying to keep up with the Prime News as much as I can, but yeah, I've had some stuff happen in uh, IRL that has been really impacting my upload schedule. I mean, to be honest, I've never really had a upload schedule because Prime News is kind of just an all over the place thing. Anyways, uh, but I tried where I generally try and keep stuff pretty consistent with an upload or two of these more standard episodes, I guess you could say, throughout the week. But, well, that has been completely thrown out the window. Big shock and surprise there. Uh, so come on there, Volvo. You can do it. Get up the hill. Lots of nice sounds in this truck as well. It sounds like the indicator has been reworked as well. We're going to go ahead and get over in front of that car there before they uh, try and get in front of us. So, yeah, what we're talking about here on ATS, well reason why I'm coming into Northern California is because the California rework, the next stage that is, which will be, as far as we know, kind of focusing in and around the Bay Area-ish. That's kind of where it's going next by the looks of it, because we're kind of going from the north down by the sounds of it. And, well, 
it, it's looking incredible so far. We've had actually a couple blog posts, I guess, since uh, the last time I've did a video, and I well, at least one on the California Reskin project or rework, however you want to say it. And yeah, it is it is looking incredible. I think the last one, if I remember correctly, was on the bridges, and I mean, it's just the landmarks in the various areas it's just it's all looking really really nice uh su software is doing a great job on revamping california and i am really happy uh, to see another stage hopefully I, I guess it's still not confirmed as of recording this video but um uh, hopefully coming with 1.44 and speaking about 1.44 what has been confirmed uh, along with i guess the special transport thing which was done a while ago we've also now have for ats the drop deck trailers finally coming to ATS. Something that, personally, I've been waiting for for quite a while, in all honesty. It's something I see a lot of uh, here in North America, and I've been waiting for those drop deck tra trailers, because for those who don't know, it's basically a perfect combination between a flatbed and a low boy trailer when it comes to weight versus center of gravity and uh, just very slow capacities and stuff like that. Uh, it is a very good balance and extremely popular for that reason. And well, it is finally coming uh, to ATS in 1.44, which again, we don't really know when it is coming quite yet, uh, at least as again. Uh, basically everything I say in this episode has big asterisks around it saying as of recording this video, but you guys get the point. As of right now, we still don't know what time it did blog post or the update, that's what I want to say, is actually coming. But you know what? We'll have to figure that one out as we go along here because, well, we, we only know so much. We only know so much about 1.44. And other than that, we also have more news on Montana and I think even Texas as well. If I remember from the last time I did an episode here on ATS, uh, definitely on Montana when it comes to the cities and settlements, number one. Uh, gotta love those uh, extra numbers in the uh, blog post name, but it is good because it means that we will have another blog post on the cities and settlements. And so there were six towns in that blog post uh, that were announced. Again, if you haven't seen the Prime News, I would highly recommend going and looking for the Prime News on all the topics I'm talking about if you want just a little bit more of an in-depth... Well, actually, to be honest, I basically summarize what's main points in these videos anyways, but whatever. Uh, check out the Prime News if you want to see some of the images uh, from those blog posts, if you haven't seen the Prime News already. Uh, but yeah, they, when it comes to Montana, again, looking really, really nice. Six cities announced in, or towns, dep depending on, I guess, the size of them, uh, it are announced in that blog post, and we know that there will be more, considering that this is, well, this is the first iteration of uh, said blog post kind of series, I guess you could say, from SEO Software. So that is always nice to see. And when it comes to Texas, I thought there was something about uh, Texas recently. Uh, for some reason, it is eluding my brain right now. Uh, but I guess that's fine. We had a lot of stuff on ATS recently when it comes to blog posts. And there has been uh, some speculation about on the ATS2 side what is going to happen with Heart of Russia for those who weren't quite uh, weren't aware the heart of russia dlc was the next dlc coming for euro truck simulator 2 uh, but obviously because of given uh, c current circumstances uh, in the world uh SES software by the looks of it has postponed uh, the release because it was very very near to launch and definitely extremely uh, close to uh, being able to get first looks and stuff at it uh it is it was in very very uh, final fa stages but the steam page for the heart of russia dlc although it's still there and everything's fine with that the cover art uh, there's no more truck on it and generally the truck entails that it's very very close now that could be just speculation and they're just changing certain things uh, but it we haven't really heard anything about the heart of russia dlc uh, since stuff has popped up obviously there is the rush development of the ukrainian uh, paint jobs pack uh, dlc which was a very nice touch as well but obviously we don't really have any other news on the Russian, um, the Heart of Russia DLC, which you look at it either way. Everyone has their opinions on it. Um, I mean, it, it's a hard thing to balance. Again, it's a promotion of a country that is, well, involved <laughs> in a war right now. Let's put it that way. And it's one of those things for SDA software. Uh, whether it's politically or not, uh, to try and figure out what kind of 
values I guess they're going to hold as a company. Um, I completely respect their decision, and I'm not trying to you know say anything like that. And honestly, I probably I probably would do the same thing if I were in their boat uh, for logistics and PR wise, really. Um, but anyways, that's a whole other thing. Long story short, as far as we can tell, uh, we're just going through the light. Forget it. Uh, from what I can tell that really then did a shift to ATS development and news and stuff like that because very quickly once we stopped having uh, information on Heart of Russia we had a ton of uh, a ton more blog posts consistently on America Truck Simulator uh, and of course we still have the Austria rework stuff uh, coming on the ATS2 side but that is for an ATS2 video not an ATS video other than that, yeah, I'm just happy to be back here on ATS. Well, if for those who remember a couple weeks ago, I guess now, um, I I had said that this time, it, it, or these after the week of basically uploads almost every day uh, and a lot of uh, fun episodes too. Really enjoyed that week. Um, that, I, that week I happened to be uh, I had finished some uh, various assignments at work and stuff like that and. Uh, I was basically then a lot more free to be doing other stuff and of course just other things aligned as well and so I had a lot more time uh, to be doing videos for you guys and I really enjoyed that week but uh, things changed I said in the, in, along that week at some point that you know from here on out should get back to a little bit more of a regular schedule and well Look at that! Where look at where that got us? I guess you could say um, <laughs> didn't really it didn't really work. I guess in the way that I was hoping, uh, but you know what? I'm not going to complain. We're here now. Um, I I honestly can't guarantee um, when the next video will be. Uh, I want to say it would be quite consistent, and I mean obviously Prime News, I guess, is the most consistent we're going to get right now. Um, uh, and things can change, obviously, but. Uh, it just unfortunately the nature of what I do IRL is it's it's very spontaneous unfortunately at times um, there are things that I are out of my control and I just gotta roll with the punches uh, and do my best to bring content to you guys without forcing it I guess uh, something that I've always said right from the beginning is I will not uh, force a, a kind of an upload and I guess that was an agricultural inspection station wasn't it must have been uh, yeah, I, I really don't want to force content, uh, whether it's all for my own, uh, for personal reasons, whether it's my mental health, physical health, whatever it is, uh, or just, I don't want it to sound fake. <laughs> I, I, I try to be as genuine as I can in these videos, uh, talk about topics, uh, give you guys my honest excitement and feelings on uh, various things revolving around ATS and other things in simulation, uh, which I do really want to expand uh, my horizon a little bit more on uh, stuff but obviously with my time uh, it's hard because I don't want to take on too many things I've already done quite a few different things on the channel experimented over the past few years but um, or at least a couple years but I don't want to extend too much because you know what it's I, I, I also want to expand and I'm also limited by my hardware unfortunately uh, graphics card mainly or actually solely to be honest at this point um, everything else works quite beautifully uh, other than that but you know what the graphics card market is actually starting to turn around for the better I have to say um, it is something that uh, I, it, it's promising by the looks of it at least depends on where you are in the world um, definitely here in Canada and the US as far as I am aware stuff is starting to uh, prices are starting to come back to MSRP ranges ish not really but you know what it's a little bit better um, and availability is starting to get better as well so uh, don't be surprised as if if sometime this year uh, stuff ends up happening here with a new GPU because that would be my goal but obviously I don't want to just <laughs> I, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna blow a whole whack of cash on a card that is double MSRP that's just financially and ultimately uh, materialistically not needed <laughs> uh, <laughs> if there's no there's no justification really uh, to be spending that much unless if at least in my eyes uh, unless if it's 100% necessary um, and because I guess unfortunately in a way um, YouTube isn't a main source of income for me I it, it, there's only so much justification I could do 
Uh, but saying that, thank you guys so much for su the continued support, though. Channel's been continuing to grow despite uh, my bit of a hiatus here from the more normal episodes. And <laughs> I have to say I was a little rusty uh, getting back into this video. I'm not going to lie. Uh, it was a little rough. Um, surprisingly, though, I, I thought it would be a little bit easier to just jump right back in. It took me five minutes to get my intro. Oh, here we go. Forget about turning in my speed. Um, actually, do I need to get over it? Nah, I'm going to stay in this lane. They're merging over anyways. Uh, so I think, yeah, he's slowing down uh, no matter what. So we're all good there. But yeah, the intro to this video took a little bit of time. But that's fine. Uh, we're all good. And yeah, it is... Uh, it's nice to be doing this again. It's really honestly good for me, if in a strange sense, uh, to sit here and talk to myself. Uh, it's it's something I enjoy doing, and the whole process of it, uh, it's something I I always look forward to doing. Always look forward to trying out new stuff, which I've also got a few other things I've got planned. Oh, way station time. Goody, goody, goody. Head up here. You know what? I always like these kind of different way stations and this is something that SES software is continuing to do um, all these way stations that are just very unique they're not just copy paste necessarily unique areas is that is it me or is there's something potentially wrong with that black spot in there or is that supposed to be like that I don't really know in all honesty uh it feels like it could be just black tarmac, which it very well could be. But then part of me feels like it's like a void that is just kind of broken. Don't know. That's probably a mod thing because I do actually have I I do actually have still quite a few mods that are on the profile, um, just not working with various things. So I guess that would do it. I guess we'll go ahead, keep rolling out here. Beautiful stuff. And we'll continue on our journey. You know what? I think the sounds on this are actually pretty good. Just decided to l let her listen to the revs going up. And it is actually nice to be doing another, I guess you could say more economy truck. Saying that, I guess I chose the sleeper version. Uh, I mean, I guess this is good for the log haul of um, FedEx ground. But you know what? Um, uh, obviously, a cab over would be a little bit more, I guess you could say, realistic. But I, I, I think I'm going to uh, probably next up. Uh, it's kind of hard because I don't want to do too many. Um, I guess you could say similar brands. I know I've this is I did a Volvo VNR a couple episodes ago, Volvo VNL, which is just the rework. Uh, but I would like to uh, maybe hit up. Uh, the just the, the International LT or the Freightliner Cascadia again and go through some different skins uh, for some of the different uh, companies and do some different stuff, different truck configurations other than just the, the uh, sleeper variants, do some day cab stuff and maybe do some shuttle, uh, shuttling stuff, do like maybe a couple different deliveries in one video. That'd be an interesting thing, I think, uh, to try and do. So let me know what you guys think. Now, the other thing I want you guys to let me know, for those who are still sticking around in this video, comment down below if you would be interested in almost like a, <laughs> it's kind of weird me saying this, but like an ASMR trucking video. One where you don't have to listen to my beautiful voice <laughs> and uh, you just get the sounds as a truck I do a delivery, I choose a truck and engine sound combination that is really, really good. One of, for example, uh, one of the JC Amateur engine sound or engine mods with one of the uh, compatible trucks or truck mods, whatever uh, it, it is, and just do a very sound oriented uh, upload. Let me know what you guys think. I mean, it would be definitely an interesting thing for me to do. And if you guys are interested, I mean, it's also something that I can do necessarily uh, there's something I can do, but I don't have to have my voice because uh, unfortunately I can't always do voice recordings. It's just some other factors uh, that can impact that with um, surrounding environmental stuff. Uh, but uh, to also known as noises. Uh, but when it comes to uh, doing that, obviously if there's no uh, prime voice, uh, nothing of me, n none of my beautiful silky deep voice. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it, 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 let me know what you think. Uh, all jokes aside, let me know what you think about it and if you would enjoy it or not, because I'm always open to trying different things, even if it means 
You don't have to listen to me. It's okay. I don't have to talk for a bit. You know what? Joking aside, I think we'll move that away here because we're getting all, I think we're getting very close to Bend considering while I'm in the proper lanes to go to Bend, which is always good. I'm not getting lost this episode. I am doing well. I am doing well, my friends. For once. Uh, and uh, yeah, it is uh, it, it is just nice to be uh, just nice to be trucking again. Nice to be trucking again. And when it comes to the future of ATS, it looks really bright. Like I said, it was 1.44. Obviously, the various things coming in with that. Texas, hopefully very soon, uh, releasing. It's, it's one of those things that's a constant work in progress. We're getting very close. Uh, lots of, there's constantly new stuff, but uh, yeah, it's, there's still lots of topics, I guess, to come uh, at the same sense. Uh, actually, I never did an engine brake on this thing, so let's try and do a test there. Not bad. Uh, not bad for the economy level engines, I guess you could say, anyways. Uh, once again, these Volvo engines aren't necessarily known for the gruntness, I guess you could say, of a, of a truck engine, but yeah. It is quite nice indeed. I mean, it's not bad. I guess I, I was saying it was not bad, and I said it's quite nice. You know what? It's it's a longer episode here. People, give me a break. <laughs> I'm starting to burn up in my little in my little office here. Forgot to turn on the fan in the corner, but that's a whole other thing. Now, let me know if you guys have any other mod recommendations. Like I mentioned earlier, I have other stuff planned, or at least I briefly mentioned. Uh, I do have other stuff planned uh, for these videos. Obviously, it's I've got lots of options when it comes to the Steam Workshop. Obviously, new things. Obvious, uh, how many times can I say obviously? New things constantly coming uh, to ATS also helps. But I have had a few uh, various uh, mod creators as well reach out to me. So expect to see some very interesting things uh, coming very, very soon. Or at least hopefully very, very soon. Some of them hopefully I can get into videos. Some of them may not. Depends on logistical issues there. But other than that, if you have any other mod recommendations, doesn't matter if it's a trailer, skin, engine. could be just one of those absurd engine mods. We do like a fun challenge, a truck, anything. Um anything when it comes to texturing well obviously <laughs> keep in mind that i don't have a top of the line system and i can't just throw everything so there have been a few people who have uh, uh, graciously recommended various um uh, texturing mods and stuff like that but i've tested them and it doesn't necessarily turn out well when it comes to quality i have to turn down uh various graphics things a lot and it then kind of makes it pointless uh, to do the mods because I'm having to turn down my graphics enough that it's affecting performance. So uh, it's a it's a hard balance there for me, obviously. But uh, especially m most of the trucks, most of the skins, all that stuff doesn't have any performance impact for basically anyone. Uh, obviously, I guess that's something I should say. Uh, man, obviously is my word of the day today. I think uh, so. I do apologize for that. Uh, we're actually gonna get by this lad here. What's this truck today? That looks like a W900, if I say so myself. Let's see if my my uh, my my thoughts are correct. It does, or it does. It is W900, baby. Sweet stuff. Uh, do we have to be getting off the highway here? I guess we should speed up then, because we gotta get over. I think. So let's go ahead and get over here. Beautiful stuff. I think we have to get over. Uh, or what in the world is it having me do here? Unless if it condenses or goes down. Oh, we have to go into bend and then, oh, just around. Okay, I'm looking at the GPS there for those who are wondering what in the world my thought process is. Uh, trying to figure out what in the world it is doing with my journey today, but that would explain why. Overpass on the highway. We got to get off, go down and around, back over. Good old loop-de-loops good old highway infrastructure but that's all fine i've been speeding a bit here but big shock there anyone who's been around for a while would realize that is quite normal Alrighty, left turn here and we're getting close to our delivery point you know i have to give it props to some of those guys who especially like those of you know the legends of squirrel and jeff faviano on the youtube and 
streaming game, uh, to be able- Hey, that, what in the world, dude? You just ran the red light. That- that cement mixer. How rude. Anyways, what I was getting to, uh, I have to give, like, Squirrel and, uh, Jeff Faviano huge props when it comes to them being able to talk, whether it's through live streams or videos, uh, for an eternity. Now I know I've actually had a lot of comments and uh, a, a lot of very, very kind comments about you know, how you guys really enjoy, uh, or at least some of you guys, uh, in, enjoy my commentary, my ability to keep stuff flowing. Well, if you guys think it stays flowing, then I think I'm happy and I'm I'm obvious. I, I'll try and keep continuing because if my standards are saying that it's pretty much garbage and you guys really like it, then I must be doing okay. And uh, <laughs> and I guess then when I as I continue to evolve, it just gets better and better, which is always good. It's always something that's very hard to practice, <laughs> especially when you're when you don't do it full time. I know I've moved a long way uh, from where I've started. I've evolved a lot when it comes to my ability to carry on these conversations while driving, keeping out of accidents generally, or generally at least, uh, but yeah, yeah, I have to give them props for being able to carry on stuff for a long time. Now, I guess when it comes to streaming, it does help when you have chat and stuff like that to be able to communicate directly with and could entertain commu uh, various conversations. But when you're doing a video like this where I'm staring at the screen, sitting here at my setup, and just talking to you guys uh, kind of as a future conversationist thing uh, it's a it's a, it is it's a different it's a definitely a mind trip something that I had to get used to I'm not gonna lie it, it did take a little bit to get used to I uh, can if you go back earlier you can definitely tell that uh, for some of the earlier videos it was pretty bad in some cases but especially the prime news the prime news has come a long way from where it started but just like everything you have to evolve you have to keep getting better and i know as time goes on i'll continue to get better and better get more confident and stuff and the more i do these episodes it also is easier to jump back in do it up until the well when i was doing the stuff every uh, basically every day or actually every day for that week when stuff something was going out it was for one take wonders on basically everything and got huge um great responses on stuff when it came to commentary and uh, various things uh, that i did everyone seemed to really really appreciate uh the work that got put into it where is this thing taking me so we had to get off one highway go we have to go underneath okay i i, I got concerned there that it was just starting to loop me around uh, for those who don't know, I have actually had this happen to me uh, before the, or at least I think it was just the game doing it on its own. I have had ATS kind of route me kind of a loop around that. I, I mean, part of me thinks I misclicked somewhere and added a waypoint that I didn't realize was actually there. Or I made a wrong turn somewhere and it then kind of told me to loop around and stuff. But I, I, I honestly feel at times there has been, it's happened where I... I don't tell it to and it just kind of does a loop and I, I have go on a little bit longer than I actually need to be but anywho besides that we're getting really close here thank goodness I'm starting to burn up in this room forgot to turn on my fan like I said this was a mistake on my end rookie mistake if you ask if you ask me normally it's just because I mean I've gone through my list already and on that I was going to talk about and for those who are sticking out to the end you might as well learn some other stuff here normally it's not an issue uh, the ventilation uh, in, in in my kind of recording office whatever you want to call it thing that I've got set up but it's normally not an issue at all I'm normally <laughs> a, a pretty it's pretty good ventilation and very uh, temperature control and stuff like that uh, for some reason within the last little bit I, it, I've noticed it gets very, very warm um, at times. So, of course, the fan would help stir the air around, keep keep stuff a little bit cooler. At least that's the goal. Forgot to turn that on today, and well, eh, I'm feeling it right now. <sighs> Good old warm prime, warm prime indeed. Now that may also be the reason why some of the commentary has been rough today. Because I am focusing on not trying to burn up inside and keep things straight uh, while trying to 
communicate here and yeah uh, that is definitely a challenge not gonna lie uh let's see can we keep her rolling yeah come on cars keep her rolling through the intersection thank you i want to get through here and i guess we'll have to go left here okay go ahead car pass me prius the one time i don't mind being passed by a prius just saying don't mind being passed by a Prius when I'm in a big rig. Any other thing? No. <laughs> no. I'm just joking. Prius owners, you're all good. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it at all. I have nothing against a Prius owner. Well, other than when they do that. That's just weird. Now, that's not just a, Pr a Prius owner issue. But. That's a something special right there. Another best of prime segment. Here we go. <laughs> this video has been a little bit more dry, I think, for that. Uh, well, uh, not dry, but uh, maybe not as many, uh, I guess you could say, best of prime moments. But that's okay. We're all good. We're all good. Turn left, go around the block. And uh, we should be, I think it's Walbert that we are delivering to. Uh, going Walbert the Walbert. Uh, I guess it would have been better if I actually did Walmart today, but I've done Walmart in the past actually with the Volvo VNL, so I wanted to do FedEx. And I honestly can't remember if I've done FedEx. I probably have. Actually, I think I have done FedEx before, but not on the Volvo, so we'll call her good there, I think. Someone will say I'm regurgitated content. Quite, quite possibly. I, uh, I honestly can't remember. I'll, I'll see when I am doing the thumbnail and stuff for this video and I see the absolute gi gigantuan list of thumbnails I now have accumulated over time. Uh, well, no trucks allowed. Is that where it's telling me to get in? Oh, it's telling me to get in over here. Sorry. Sorry, people. I'm a little lost. It wants me to come in here, which would make sense considering the other one was a parking lot. Uh, this one looks a little bit more like the delivery end considering it said delivery on the ground there. Uh, so let's see, where do I have to park? Right in there. Beautiful. All right, so we got to spin this thing around. Don't cut on the side of the building. That was awfully close. It's going to be tight. Don't hit anything. Let's see if I can reverse this thing in without... Just want to turn around. I should have anticipated that it was going to be a reverse. Let's see here. Let's go up here. Alrighty. Put her in reverse and let's give this a try. Let's see if I can uh, get this thing to rotate in. But I say I've got plenty of room on that side. We've got to get the rotation happening here though. Close on the front end. Get her rotating backwards. We may have to trim some bushes. Slow and steady wins the race. No one's in a rush. I've learnt this hurt the hard way. I've often rushed. Oh, we've got full lock now. We're gonna have to gonna have to slightly correct. I got it curving a little bit much. Let's just pull ahead a little bit. And then uh Get a reverse and backwards into the spot. Let's see. It's kind of hard to tell on my monitor where I'm actually at on the lines. I think I'm right up against the building. It appears as if I am. But considering the parking spot is, I wouldn't be surprised if I'm pretty close. Yeah, I'm actually pretty close. I think we can finish it off from here now, though. So let's roll this back into the parking spot. Oh, 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 there we go. Not too bad. Well, that's a roof. That's not one I want to see. Not too bad if you ask me. So thank you all so much for watching. What a great episode here. Longer, but actually I think it's really nice to have one of these longer episodes here and there. Besides the fact that I ran out of topics earlier than I thought I would. To a certain degree, and I had to kind of improvise, if you couldn't tell. I think it was actually really good. Great mods. Always love these ones. Sometimes they're more simple, uh, but they just add so much, especially when it comes to the options on the truck here. This adds so much to the game, and of course the skin just makes it more realistic, more lifelike. 
So thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.